Welcome back friends. Today we're going to do another blending technique using another app, third party app in Canva. So I'm going to start off by going to my elements section and I'm going to place a photo on my workspace. I'm going to place this photo on my workspace and I'm going to set this um, image as my background and I'm also going to place this image on my background as well. I'm just going to put that right there for now. And I'm going to go over to my apps and in the app search bar, I'm going to search for an app called Image Mixer. This is what it looks like right here. It is free to use with Canva. And I'm going to select this image right here. Uh, you'll notice that it says that graphics like stickers or illustrations aren't supported. So it's basically just images. So I've got my image selected. I'm going to uh, click on the mix selected image. And we're going to have a couple of different options. Uh, we're going to have radial and linear. And I'm going to uh, maintain the uh, radial option on the left. There is an option for strength. So as you toggle it up, it makes the image darker. As you toggle it down, it ma makes it more uh, transparent, if you will, to blend in more with the uh, background. And below strength is mix size. So as we make the mix size larger, it kind of spreads it out more as we make it less, it kind of uh, decreases the overall intensity uh, of the image and kind of blending it in a little bit more naturally in uh, the center of that radio. So I'm going to leave it like that and press the save button. Now, once we've saved, we can pretty much take that and move it uh, anywhere we like. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller and then I'll put it right in the center like that in front of the man and woman. So what did you think of this tutorial? Is image mixer something that you would use? Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. Did you like this tutorial? Did you hate this tutorial? Give me a like, give me a thumbs down. If you really, really liked it and you want to join my live classes, let me know in the comments as well. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.